Welcome to Wild World News. <sighs> okay. Ezra Miller reportedly has delusions about being the Messiah and wants to lead an indigenous revolution. Revolution. Different from evolution. Ezra Miller is the subject of a new Vanity Fair expose which looks at the 29-year-old actor's dark spiral for the past few years. More than a dozen people were interviewed for the lengthy report. Some of you claim Miller suffers from Messiah delusions. Miller's erratic behavior first spilled into the public while they were in Iceland in 2020. The Flash star, whose pronouns are they them, choked two strangers with one incident going viral after it was caught on film. An insider who was with Miller around this time told Vanity Fair, uh, they talk about the metaverse and the medicine and how they're the Messiah and that their work is here. They say the spiritual practice is to be among the people which means party. So when in Iceland, Ezra was out nonstop, his uh, favorite, favorite were raves, where he'd go on benders for two to three days at a time. Miller has been accused of cult-like behavior and grooming young women, Activist Dakota Iron Eyes is among those who have been traveling with Miller in recent months. Dakota's parents went public and accused the actor of brainwashing and assaulting their daughter. Dakota has denied this in interviews. Dakota's mother, Jumping Eagle, said she has heard about Miller's supposed Messiah complex. They say... They are some kind of messiah, and they're going to lead an indigenous revolution. Jumping Eagle told Vanity Fair, Miller is not Native American, but has frequently spoken out against people appropriating the culture. Miller professes that they walk through this world with an indigenous humility and spiritual awareness, one Indigenous insider alleged, but point to fact that Mill they don't at all what because they don't care. Multiple sources claim to the magazine that Miller was verbally and emotionally abusive while referring to themselves as both Jesus and the devil, according to one insider. The actor invoked the superhero. They play claiming that the Flash is the one who brings the multiverse together, just like Jesus. Boy. Another peculiar anecdote buried in the investigative report involves Susan Sarandon while describing the Miller's Vermont farm where we... Uh, where weed, guns, and, fla and flash figurines are purportedly rampant, there's an altar they like to use. A lot of times Miller makes the women put their cell phones on the altar when they come in. And other offerings. A longtime friend claims to the magazine, Ezra freaked out recently demanding that Susan Sarandon come pay tribute to the altar because she didn't invite Ezra to a dinner party. Rep for Miller countered to Vanity Fair that Sarandon and the actor are dear friends and that Miller would 
probably call this anecdote total BS if asked. A rep for Sarandon did not respond to you who entered a Yahoo, <laughs> Yahoo uh, entertainment request for comment. Miller's former fiance, Aaron, participated in the story and said that Miller wasn't violent or physically abusive toward anyone when they were together. The couple dated in 2016. For years, Miller convinced me and all our friends that I was abusive. But looking back, I would be calling out Miller's disrespect and Miller wouldn't take responsibility and just call me abusive because of my reaction. I could have handled it better. I didn't know the term gaslight back then. I was emotionally filled up, uh, messed up uh, for years. Aaron shared. She added that Miller broke up with her after a spiritual advisor told them that she was a parasite, uh, an energy vampire. I know about those. It's people that drain you. I can make excuses for Miller all day, but I don't want to anymore, she added. The illusions of grandeur needed to be called out. I love Ezra always, and I don't want Ezra to continue down this dark road. Last month, after Ezra uh, most recent arrest, the actor announced that uh, there started ongoing treatment for complex mental health issues, according to the magazine. The treatment just involves therapy. Ezra Miller uh, is taking uh, the therapy and treatment very seriously. Uh, the move was a last-ditch effort to save next year's blockbuster film, The Flash, which will be Miller's biggest movie yet. Warner Bros. is moving forward with the tent pole despite the mounting negative press about its star. The notion that The Flash was at risk was a wake-up call, Miller's rep added. Good Lord. Good Lord! Wow. Like, I'm just like, it gets deeper and darker. It's scary. Actually, it's scary. You see, this is what I mean, y'all. This is what I mean when I tell you guys that you don't really know the celebrities that you love so much. Some of them are really great people, and your perceptions of them are correct. Some perception you have of people are wrong. Some people have their own issues. And a lot of people wonder why rich and famous and popular people, you know, end up going into therapy or self-deleting or having all these other problems you never think they would have. But guess what? They're normal people just like me and you. They end up developing problems just like me or you could have. Some of these problems we never develop, but people are people. So... Uh, I, I mean, look, if all this stuff is true, if all the dark negative stuff is true, I hope he gets all the help he needs and whatever needs to be done as far as justice wise. Oh, yay. You know what I mean? Man. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say. It's going to be interesting to s when the flash comes out. I know it's going to be very interesting. From when the flash comes out. And I've already seen people not talking about this, but talking about other things. I just found out about this. But talking about other stuff with him and it's kind of interesting politically um, how things are going. It's very interesting. How certain people can say and do things and really not get in much trouble, but some people do it and they throw the whole book at him and bury him under the jail. You know what I mean? Very interesting. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoy my thoughts on this news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.
Oh boy.